Welcome back, South Africa, to the third installment of the Culinary Hotline. Bling! Ting, 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 ting! OK, so we've had a lot of fun this morning, and we visited your favourite hotspots for the ultimate masala steak sandwiches. And I hope the presenters have been paying attention this morning, cos now the challenge is up to them. You the thing is, with a Zoe, masala sandwich like this, is you just hoi on as much as you can. You know what? If you think so, do it. The crowd is going to judge you in the end. OK, OK, OK. And we might send you off the island if they're not... A, no, 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 no one can send you to the island. Everybody's on this island. Ooh. Ewan, what, and Ewan and Zoe, what I need from you is to build your ultimate masala steak sandwich and then at the end to name it. Let me talk you through the ingredients. We've got sriracha sauce, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, chutney, because, hey, you've got to have chutney. OK. Yes. The fried okay. egg, the masala steak, the chips we've seasoned for you. We've got the cheese. We've got the untoasted bread, the toasted bread. This is chili oil. I thought so. I wasn't yeah. sure. I was smelling it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And this is vinegar. Okay. Hey, easy, just yeah. not, for, not for shots. It's for vinegar. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys all the time in the world. Really? Put this okay. Together. Yeah. Can, I, um, can, can we start? We're gonna, you, you, yes, you can start. And while you start, uh, okay, you, official. One, two, three, go. Okay. Go. While you're busy building, we are going to judge you on creativity. We are going to judge you on overall taste and um, appearance. Okay. And while you're busy with that, we have a voice note from Gabby. Gabby has something to say. Good morning, Espresso. My favourite sandwich would have would have to be chicken mayo, bacon, cheese, and pepper deals. Chicken Amazing. mayo, Amazing. toasted. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. That is. Uh, that that's always a winner. I feel like chicken mayo is always a winner. And then you've gone and you added the cheese and the pepper deals, a little bit of that twang. Gabby, I love your that suggestion. Um, I hope that you're all watching, Gabby, because maybe you can give us some feedback of what you think about the sandwiches happening right now. Zoe's gone so for can a generous... I you, you didn't yes. give me butter, so I'm using my sauce as a base. Um, that was, that was a curveball. And you've done... a curveball, and I like to mix my sauces, so we're going for a spicy... Right. Uh, spicy may, uh, chutney. I like it. Um, we're going to move over to... You went straight on my bro. Stra strategy. I'm starting, I'm starting basic. OK. OK, but it's going to build from there. Because yes. you never know what you're going to get with the masala steak. I like it. And your, your sequence of order, you've got cheese, I've got tomato. Some, I've got tomato sauce, cheese, I've got the, chili, the, the, the steak, and then I've got some, uh, what else I've got? There's some lettuce, and then I've got another piece of bread with chutney. Yes, right? OK. Which I'm going to layer again So I see chutney. Ewan's gone for three slices, so you're going to do like a bit of like a stack, yes, like a dagwood. Yes, I like that. My Zoe? I'm going to go dagwood I'm also adding, but I'm making sure my bread is super saucy. Zoe has also sliced. Her steak. What's the okay. reason for that? Um, just to make it biteable. You know, biteable. sometimes you. This biteable. is a lady sandwich. Like okay. It's, it's, it's so often ladies stay away from these big sandwiches, especially if you're going on a date, because you take a bite and then the whole piece of meat comes out. So I'm just looking out for the girl. Got you. Um, South Africa, would you recommend a masala steak sandwich as a first, first date dish? Yes. I don't know. I kind of feel like um, people often say don't go, don't, don't have ribs or food that gets messy on a first day, but I feel like you should. I feel like you can tell a lot by a person about how they eat messy food. Let me know, what do you think? Okay, you has gone for some extra onion. That height is building. If this, if this whole competition is based on height, Ewan's already in the lead. Is he already in the lead? He's already in the lead. But Zoe's got, a, Zoe's got other strategies happening. She's gone for the aesthetic, keep everything in order, in line. She's thinking about your outfits. I'm thinking about everything here. Keeping it neat, keeping it tidy, keeping it clean. Some chilli oil went down. Uh, Some chilli oil went down. Ah, oh, oh, my goodness, my goodness. How okay, much time um, do have left? The, the, the people up in the control room have, have dubbed your sandwich already, Zoe. Have Can they? I tell them what they've called it? What have they they've called, called it? They've called it oh, the Sturvy Masala Steak Sandwich. Oh, yes, I'll take that name. It's fine, I'll own that it. That is. Pew, pew. But no, no, no. Zoe, 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 Zoe. She's gonna, she's gonna make sure that this is a proper masala steak sandwich. <laughs> I also do like a strategy that you win with having the chips on the side. Generosity. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And then just for show, we're gonna do this. Yes. Zoe, I must agree. I think there is something happening here with the way you've kept everything in line. Why would you want to keep a masala steak in line? I'm thinking about if you're That's driving and you, you get the, you, you want you to munch into while you're driving. When you're driving. You don't? You stop off. Okay, you stop and you, off. you chill and you look at the view. Oh my good. Okay, I'm done, dude. I'm done. Okay, let's have a quick, let's have a quick look at this. I'm done, bro. This is 
Higher than call wasty South Africa. <laughs> this is, this, this is, is. Wait, 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 hang on. This is the Yui powerhouse. The Yui powerhouse. I like okay. that. Please don't tell Carl I said that when you see him later. I, I love that man. You know. Okay, the Yui powerhouse back. is looking amazing. Have you sliced it? No, you're keeping it. You're yeah. keeping it. Uh, uh, you, um, you keep it. You know, no, 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 no. Normally I would eat it as is. Okay, then keep it as but is. But I feel that there's a lot of hungry eyes around, so right. I might be sharing. Yeah. Okay. I need a big knife, dude. I can't do it. But do you have a big knife for me? We is... will find you a big knife. We will find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. Okay. Zoe has this gone for a slice. This is the powerhouse. The the. You can't have powerhouse. I That's said that. That's a roof. It's a house. The roof. <laughs> the roof. The roof is on. Fire. Fire. Okay, Zoe's looking amazing. So add. Africa, let's have a judge. While Ewan's good, we're bringing Ewan a knife. I don't, so while I don't we're know doing, if I need so a knife. Need while we're doing that, bring in the knife. Bring in the knife. Here we go. We got our sound guy Lazarus coming in with oh, the knife. So thank you, Lazzy. Thank you very while much. While Ewan's busy doing that, let's have a look at Zoe's the Brown Down Powerhouse. I mean, yes, yes. It looks beautiful. Everything's in order. Everything's beautiful. I can see the layers. Everything's there and it's super saucy. It was all about yes. the sauce, but also bringing in that tanginess from the from the, um, from the the vinegar and with a little bit of a chilli oil. I don't know what very, And then just finish it off with a little uh, bit of uh, salt. Chef's kiss. Okay, instead of it's just big chow, and I get a oh yeah from the crowd. Ooh. If you're going for Zoe Brown sandwich. Oh yeah. Look, All right. on this end we have mess. <laughs> we have we have a bunch of things happening. Things are falling all over, but this is what you eat. You eat with your hands. You eat and you go and you just dig in. You do. Remind South Africa, what is the sandwich called again? The Yui Powerhouse. The Yui Powerhouse. Yui Can Powerhouse. I get a big, oh yeah, for the Yui Powerhouse? Okay, I get what. Oh. Wow. I think we need to do that. We need to do it again. Okay, can I hear it for Zoe Brown sandwich? Oh yeah. Can I get the it? ladies are here. Woo. Can I get it for Ewan sandwich? I'm done. I'm done. The I'm undisputed leaving. world champion, Masala Steak Sandwich Boulder, Zoe Brown! Congratulations, Zoe. Oh, and as your you. prize, you win, um, you win these flowers. Oh, thank you, thank Zoe you. Brown. I think I'm allowed to take set flowers home. There you go. Maybe. Just so you know, there's no such thing as a, a bad masala steak. That is still epic. That's amazing. True. Everybody's a winner. You win. I you needed, win. I needed newspaper to wrap it in, you see. Ah. We'll get you. We'll get that sort of yeah. for you. Well done to both of you. Both done an amazing <laughs> job. And thank you to our locations that we visited last week, to MSR Cafe and to Marion's Cafe. Absolutely amazing. They were both delicious. I think we've had an epic masala steak day today. I think so. We I did. Dude, South Africa's hungry. South Africa's hungry. I can tell you that much. Yes, we're back again next week with more Coloring Hotline. Please, let us know what you want to see on the channel. And also, if you want to see another foodie tour, let us know what we should tour next. Mm. What do you think? Mm, yes. Please I like invite it. me along on the next foodie tour. Done, done. <laughs>